Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on influence line diagram. Let us read the question one time. For the continuous beam given in the figure, determine the influence lines for the support moment at B, MB. In this beam, there are two spans, span AB and span BC. In this question, we have been asked to draw the influence line diagrams for the support moment in the point B. To make influence line diagram for the support moment at B, we have to apply unit moment for MB and then we have to separate the beam into two parts. You can see that I have applied unit moment for MB and then I have split the beam from the point B into two parts AB and BC. So this continuous beam is split into two separate simply supported beams. For the beam AB, the unit moment is acting in the clockwise direction. For the beam BC, the unit moment is acting in the anticlockwise direction. Now we have to calculate the reactions. First, let us calculate the reactions in the beam AB. To calculate RA, we are going to take moment about B. In this case, we are moving right hand side. Clockwise will be positive, anticlockwise will be negative. RA is acting towards the point B in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive, and the distance is 4, so 4 RA. The moment MB is acting in the clockwise direction, so it is also positive. For RA, we are getting a negative value, that means the assumed direction is wrong. RA is not acting upwards, it is actually acting downwards. Now let us apply the rule, summation of vertical forces is equal to 0. In this beam, we are having two vertical forces, RA and RB1. RA plus RB1 is equal to 0. We have already calculated RA, that is minus 1 by 4, we can apply that. Finally, we are getting RB is equal to 1 by 4. Now, let us calculate the reactions in the beam BC. To calculate RB2, we are going to take moment about C. In this case, we are moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive, anticlockwise will be negative. RB2 is acting towards the point C in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive, and the distance is 6 meter, so 6 RB2. The moment MB is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be negative. Finally, we are getting RB2 is equal to 1 by 6. Now, let us apply the rule, summation of vertical forces is equal to 0. In this way, we can calculate RC. For RC, we are getting a negative value. That means the assumed direction is not correct. RC is actually acting downwards. Now, let us see the formula to calculate the ordinate for MB. The formula is YBX upon theta BB. We have applied unit moment in the point B. Because of that, deflections are developed in the span AB and in the span BC. We have already separated the beam into two parts, AB and BC. To calculate YBX, we have to make sections in both of the beams. The sections should be made at a distance of x. So, YBX is the deflection at the distance of x. Here, we are having the slopes theta BA and theta BC. Theta BB is equal to theta BA minus theta BC. Now, let us take AB and find out YBX. You can see that I have made a section at a distance of x from the point A. 
Now let us calculate the moment about the section. We are going to calculate the moment from the point A. In this case, we are moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive, anticlockwise will be negative. Up to the section, we are having only one point load that is RA, 1 by 4 acting downwards. This RA is acting towards the section in the anticlockwise direction so it will be negative and the distance is x so minus 1 by 4 into x finally we will get minus x by 4 now let us equate the moment with eid square y by dx square then let us make integration when we integrate d square y by dx square we will get dy by dx when we integrate x, we will get x square by 2. C1 is the constant. Finally, we are getting this. Let us keep this as equation number 1. Now, let us integrate this equation. When we integrate dy by dx, we will get y. When we integrate x square, we will get x cube by 3. When we integrate c1, we will get C1x, C2 is the new constant, 8 into 3, we will get 24. Let us keep this as equation number 2. In the point A, we are having a vertical support. If there is vertical support, the deflection will be 0. So, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. In this equation, let us apply x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. Finally, we are getting c2 is equal to 0. In the point B also, we are having a vertical support. If there is vertical support, the deflection will be 0. So, at x is equal to 4, y will be 0. Let us apply c2 is equal to 0, x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 0. In this equation, Finally, we are getting C1, which is equal to 2 upon 3. In the equation number 1, let us apply C1 is equal to 2 by 3 and C2 is equal to 0. This y is equal to ybx because we calculated this deflection at a distance of x. Finally, we got ybx. Now, let us take the equation number 2. In the equation number 2, let us apply the value of C1. We know that dy by dx is the slope. We have to calculate the slope in the point B. In the point B, x is equal to 4 meter. So, in this equation, let us apply x is equal to 4. When we apply, we are getting theta ba, which is equal to minus 4 upon 3ei. Now let us take BC and find out YBX and theta BC. In BC, we have to make a section at a distance of X from the point B. In this section, we have to calculate the moment. Up to the section, we are having a moment and a point load 1 by 6. This moment is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be negative. The reaction is acting towards the section in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive and the distance is x. Finally, we are getting minus 1 plus x by 6. Now, let us equate the moment with the eid square y by dx square. Then, let us make integration. When we integrate minus 1, we will get minus x. When we integrate x, we will get x square by 2. C1 is the constant. Finally, for ea dy by dx, we are getting this. Let us keep this as equation number 3. Now, let us make integration this equation. When we integrate x, it will become x square by 2. When we integrate x square, it will become x cube by 3. When we integrate c1, it will become c1x. 
C2 is the new constant. When we multiply 12 and 3, we will get 36. Let us keep this equation as equation number 4. In the point B, we are having vertical support. So, at x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. Using that, we can calculate C2, which is equal to 0. In the point C also, we are having vertical support. So, at x is equal to 6, y is equal to 0. Let us apply C2 is equal to 0, x is equal to 6, y is equal to 0 in this equation. After applying, we are getting C1, which is equal to 2. Let us apply the values of C1 and C2 in the equation number 3. Finally, we are getting this. We know that the deflection y is equal to the deflection ybx because we calculated y at a distance of x. In the equation number 4, let us apply the value of c1. After applying, we are getting this. We have to calculate the slope in the point B, that is theta bc. In the point B, x is equal to 0. In this equation, let us apply x is equal to 0. Finally, we are getting theta bc, which is equal to 2 by ei. In the theta bb formula, we have calculated theta ba in the previous step. Theta bc just before we calculated. Let us apply both of the values. Finally, we are getting theta bb is equal to minus 10 by 3 ei. For the portion ab, we have calculated ybx. For the portion bc also, we have calculated ybx. Also, we have calculated theta bb. Let us apply the values in the formula. Ei and Ei will be eliminated. Let us take 3 on the numerator and then multiply. Finally, we are getting this. Here also, let us take 3 on the numerator and then multiply with this. After that, we are getting this. Now, let us calculate the ordinates. We have to be very careful when using the formulas. We have made two formulas. This formula is for the portion AB and this formula is for the portion BC. For the span AB, the ILD ordinates start from the point A and end in the point B. For the span BC, the ILD ordinates start from the point B and end in the point C. In the table, you can see that I have made two parts, x from the point A and x from the point B. Also, I have made one more row. If the x values are only from the point A, for calculating the influence line ordinates, for the span AB, we have to apply these values in this formula instead of x. After applying, we will get these. For calculating the ordinates for the span BC, we have to apply these values in this formula instead of x. Finally, we will get these. Now, let us make the influence line diagram. We are getting all the values negative. So, the diagram will be coming below this line. The diagram should be made in the curved shape for the ordinates. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.